Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask in the world. Today we're looking at the Well Before brand of masks. I've tested some before. I uh, actually know these guys, they're based out of Dallas. Let's get this in the clamper and see what happens. Spoiler alert, last time, pretty good score on this mask. But uh, <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, something crazy happened in it. So I'll put a link to it. I've never seen anything like that happen before. So these are the kids masks or their regular ages nine to 12, which is actually phenomenal that they do that. As somebody that has kids, is ki as someone that has kids that range from 15 to uh, one, I can tell you that it's hard to find masks that fit. All right, so this is their kids, but their largest kids mask. It's a light blue, it looks like. It's a good clamp. And we'll let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We're doing the N95 test here, which is just like the, uh, it's very similar to the KN95 standard. Let's take a look at the uh, listing. Wellbefore.com. They sell a lot of product. Uh, they're pimped out in a lot of these uh, organizations. Um, they do, they are making a claim that is a KN95. I love this feature here where you can do the different ages. I think we're going to try those as well. That's so cool. That I've not seen that before. It's genius and it's something that as a parent, I really like. Let's open up this. They're individually packaged. It's, I can tell you as a manufacturer, it would be impossible for us to do at this price point uh, in, in the United States. And the packaging's phenomenal. So yes, this is made in China, but what you're getting is something that like would be impossible at this price point in the United States. Just absolutely impossible. I know exactly the machine that does this. I know how much it costs. We love doing it. We did it for a while. We can't do it. We can't be uh, competitive. So this is not a KN95. I'll just, won't harp on it. To be a KN95, you gotta say uh, KN95, ding. You gotta say the brand, manufacturer, but I'll give it to them well before. And then you gotta say the standard, which you're holding yourself to, which in this case is the GB2626-2019. I know this because they put it on the back of the packaging, but it's gotta actually be on the mask itself. The reason for that is when you put on the mask, you gotta know um, if it's holding the standards. I will call out real quick that uh, and this happens with kids masks sometimes. Breathability is super high. Not sure why that happens with kids masks. 183 pascals. I say that because I think that their adult mask was 169 pascals. So it's less breathable, which is not good for a kid. If anything, it should be more breathable. Efficiency, looking pretty good. We'll talk about that after the test finishes, which it just did. Uh, a couple features that are awesome. They've got this little uh, adjustable thing. Man, these guys are good. This ear loop's awesome. They've got this adjustable thing for kids. I mean, we sell kids masks. These guys are well ahead <laughs> on uh, some of those features for kids. Because look, you can adjust it. And if you're a big kid like me, you can pull it out, get it bigger. Actually, it fits me pretty well, to be honest. The smell is slightly stronger on this than the uh, adult mask, which, which again, I don't like. You know, for a kid, I think it, it needs to be better. Like it needs to be more breathable and, and not smell as, as much. Uh, because kids are just, they're gonna have problems, right? They're gonna like, they're gonna complain a lot more, at least my kids do. So yeah, you're getting that really strong Chinese polypropylene smell. Um, um, this, I'm gonna call this smell, uh, my kid wouldn't wear this for too long <laughs> without complaining to me. Uh, I'm going to do this test here, this test here. That's what kids do this all the time on the earlobe, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to do this test. Mm, that's interesting because on their, uh, on their adult mask, uh, which I just had, in fact, it's so close. I'll just grab it. It's right here. Look at that. I had to pull really hard to break one of the straps, and the kid strap broke. Again, if anything, the kids should be stronger because kids are the ones that are actually going to yank on that thing. So. It's weird that the kid's mask is not as good as their adult's mask. I'm not really sure why that is. Maybe it's a new product. I know that when we're setting up a new product, it's hard for us to get everything just right. It could be that. That said, all that, like, uh, I mean, it's, it seems to be a pretty good product, especially I've never seen this, uh, eight, the sizes for different age ranges that, that they have on their website. That's really, really helpful for a parent. So those trade-offs may or may be worth it. Only you can decide that. And let's look at the machine. I know I gave you a preview before and it ended right there. 
97.794. 97.794. Again, breathability was a little high, well above standard on the, uh, on the actual um, uh, efficiency, so that's good. And again, not actually, not technically a CAN95. They're not meeting the standard uh, because they're not putting the right things on the mask, which the reason I care about that is if, if you're missing those things, like what other tests are you not doing? I can only do one of the tests because it's the quickest test here, and there's actually about seven tests you have to do. So my question is like, is their manufacturer, uh, which is the Guangdong Marban Daily and Chemical LTD, like are, is, the, is that manufacturer actually doing all the tests they need to do to meet the KN95 standard? We don't know. All right, guys, thank you so much uh, for, for checking out the video. I appreciate your time and attention as always. And uh, we're doing things a little bit differently. We've got a bunch of masks on our hands. So we're gonna be dropping a new test every single day here at 10 a.m. I will see you tomorrow on that next test.